Good morning. Uh, working on the Toyota 400 this morning. So, uh, some advice for a lot of people. They normally say the 400 starts to vibrate a lot of times. This area right here. Uh, this, this is the rear. I'll uh, explain a little more in the detail. Maybe a little dark here. I'm under the truck. Not very much light. Sunday morning. I'll get things running later on this right here is the front uh, some people said that when you take it off you see the yellow light I best to mark both of them so when you put it back together it's easy to take off when you replace them with a partner of yours make sure the markings are lined up I use use a permanent marker to mark both the shaft the, the transmission shaft and the all so the shaft itself yeah. Universe. This is the front and all the way down to the rear. You really don't have to mark the rear, but you could. I mean, if you mark the front, there's a lot of grooves you've got to mark in the front. And this is the rear here. So I'm going to take this off. Once I take it off, I'll probably put it on some vice grip or something to hold it on and shake and see which area is shaking out the rear, which is this one or the front. That area is shaking, that means that universal joints, the universal bearings got to be replaced. So I'm going to replace it. I'm going to take it off now and check it out. Stand by. <coughs> right here, pull the drive shaft off the forerunner. This is the front. And this right here is the rear. So all I'm going to do, I've done this several times with different vehicles. Now, a different setup, but the base the same. All I would do is shake the rear, twist it, turn it, and that is solid. You can feel, almost feel a bearing is straight, nothing unusual, nothing's missing, nothing is sluggish, soft rotation, and rotate it, take all the little linkings, the cup links, and the rubber yellow seals, those are some oil seals, they're pretty, really good. They were real good contact, a little dirty, that's okay. But I noticed that nothing serious with the rear. So the rear is good. Just a little greasy. The rear is good. This is the rear and the rear end here. So I'm going to go to the front. Well, we're shaking. If it shakes unusual, hard to shake a twist, it uses a prop. See this right here? And let me show you something real quick. It's this side right here so I want to show you. See along there? See that? That's wear and tear. Could be any type of defect. But that little small linkage right here, that's still in place so it won't show you but so much vibration. But over time it's going to vibrate heavy. But once that linkage is off there, you're going to have a problem. It's going to be like a washing machine or a dryer off balance. You can tell that this right here got to be replaced. I'll replace all four of the bearings on this one, make it easier. Then uh, I will show you that I'll shake it and see what happens. It's hard to turn, see? Hard to twist. Hard to twist. See this right here? That's the problem. You can hear it, you can see it, you can feel it. This right here is not the problem. These two left and right, that's not the problem. Now the two left and right is the problem. Right here. Up and down is the problem. So you can see the left side, see how the left side look comparing to the right side. The right side would be a little off because the left side is totally messed up. So I've got to replace the left side. I've got to replace this right here. Simple place. Ah, a lot of time I suggest moving the universal joint and take it to a mechanic shop or take it to a machine shop it's easier that way huh. have you taken them off? it's up to you but I got my secret way stay tuned I've started to take it off I guess I'll call that little that little washer well, let me see what's that try to get a good angle for that camera adjust it I got it right here. Look at that. 
partially off. So I'm going to continue to take it on off here. Look a little better angle. See, I've got this right here. Pretty much halfway off. All I'm going to do now is take that screwdriver. Hold it in here. Better. This is right here. I got the screwdriver. Put it in here. Make sure you're wearing eyes protection in case something's gonna happen. And I'm gonna pull this off right here. Right there, I'm gonna pull it off. That's the problem right there. Take that off. Focus. Take this off right here. Got a camera still. Show you how to. Take that link off here, you sort of decided to try it yourself. Uh, the second one coming off now. I'm going to show you this right here is the yoke. So I'm going to shake that yoke and see what happens. If that yoke shakes too much, you can pretty much see this is a little easy. Since I got those two of those clamps off the sides of the bearings. If you pay close attention, you see that. There's a lot of play in there. You don't want that play. That's the problem. That's the vibration. That's the vibration. Every time you hit the gas pedal, you hear a vibration shaking. You know where it's coming from? Nine times out of ten, it's coming from this right here. I'm going to replace that now. And go to the AutoZone, Advanced Auto, get some replaced parts. Right now, I'm going to start taking that bearing out. So, it's right here. I'm going to knock it all the way out here. So, I'm going to take it right here, knock it down. Screwdriver. And a hammer. Every man needs a hammer. As you notice, in here, there's supposed to be some bearings. They're all gone. Good grief. There's zero bearings in there. There's a long little tube looking bearings. I'll show you later on. But it's ridiculous. All of them gone. Taking a second off now. Just take your time. I usually use a Fox system 369 
Just gonna hit a little bit here, hit a little bit there. Come comes out even. The other is gone. On this side, it's so dry, and I'll show you this side here. That's dry. That's pretty much dust. My bearings has been grounded up. Look at that. Grounded up. There you have them, two of them. The one dry problem. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you, uh, a lot of times if I got a job like this, I usually use that uh, penetrating oil. To me it works really good on a lot of things. That's the penetrating oil I use. There's several out there. Yeah, this is the one I use all the time. And all I do is Spray the parts. Let it soak in. I usually let it sit about three to five minutes. And I start hammering away. And then I finish this my second one. As you notice, I have the universal bearings out. Uh, I'm gonna pull this apart, at least a piece of this one, and show you the bearings I was talking about earlier. These bearings are small. They got about, I don't know, I haven't never counted them. But they got a quite, have quite a few of the bearings in there. I'm going to pull one out. This is perfect. This is pretty decent here. This the other two side that wasn't, looked pretty good. So I just left the two of off. The ones that usually go bad, I took take these off, off first. To me, it's been a little easier doing that. And these are the bearings. You see, this is my thumb. That side of the bearing goes down in this chamber here. And it's sits in here. All around the wall, those right here, and it's packed with a heavy duty grease, high temperature grease. And it, the grease seal is yellow, some of them different colors. That's how it works. This is his bearings here. The one I showed you earlier, the bearings is all gone. My grandson must have moved that bearing earlier. I had it on, he liked to play with my toys and I put them apart. And you never know where you put them at. But when I see Colin, I ask him where you put it at. But in the meantime, that is what I was trying to tell you earlier. See, sit by beside over here by my grandson, sitting here. He done put it on the side of the end of the truck. And he's looking at playing with it, sticking his finger in it, trying to make some paint on his face, trying to look like a warrior. The these here I'm talking about.
That's how the bearing is getting. Just, just arrived from the uh, store. My parts I needed. And those are the parts that I need. Uh, you get several extra ones. These, I guess, depends how much space is available. But I usually use one per bearing side. That's the new one. I'm going to put it on. Finish. Put it back on the car.